He wore the white hat for 19 years. He wore it to all types of emergencies in East Windsor and surrounding towns. With an associate's degree in fire science and a Dean's Award for outstanding achievement to go with it, Chief Bill Askinstead, though typically out of uniform, is always in sync with the job at hand. Perhaps the most memorable blaze was the explosion and fire at the Hampton Arms Complex in the early morning hours of Saturday, May 19, 1990. It summoned mutual aid from Mercer County and beyond. When the smoke cleared, several apartments had just disappeared. Miraculously, no one was seriously injured. Also retiring with the chief are two of his response units. This, a 1987 Chevy Suburban. 465. Then came C-46, a recycled East Windsor police patrol unit. But then one year during a parade in Heightstown, the company decided to check out public reaction to a new type of chief's car. Oh no, it was white, and it did have a red light on the roof. But in times of government belt tightening, the consensus was this probably wasn't quite the image that should be exhibited by a volunteer fire department. Chief Askinstead also opened Fire Company 2's sparkling new headquarters to the community, as local kids of all ages flocked to the firehouse during the holiday season. During Fire Prevention Week, the chief and his men visited township schools and employed some reverse fire education on the kids as a method of reaching their parents. The kids are the best. The kids do everything that we ask them to do. The, the most effective smoke detector program we have is driven by the kids. Uh, we give them as a homework assignment, the assignment to go home and have their parents help them check the batteries in the smoke detector. And invariably, we, we replace a lot of batteries. When we came out this morning, we had a fire drill and the trucks responded with the lights and the sirens going. And that, that naturally generates excitement. The fact that a kid can go out as a first grader or a second grader and actually squirt a fire hose or go up on an aerial truck or ride a fire truck, I, I think gives them a sense of involvement, a sense of excitement, uh, we're probably the next best thing to great adventure. So it's a trade-off. Uh, we give them some excitement and they in turn do a lot of fire prevention work for us. In addition to doing the television talk show circuit in the ongoing quest for volunteers, in this case, the township produced Spotlight East Windsor program, he also produced a PSA. And I'm asking for your help. I'm asking you to volunteer. It's not easy, but nothing in life ever is. Please join us in this life-saving effort. Call today, 443-5130, to join the team and get involved. Your friends, family, and community will thank you. Then there was a full-blown television documentary that profiled Company 2 and its men. And Chief Askinstead was proud to see his troops get the public recognition they truly deserve. I think they're the best people in the world. The fire company and the fire departments all over are families. They're the closest group of friends that you have, and they're like family. They're there for each other when you need them. And despite the bickering that goes on in any other organization, and we have it in the fire department too, when it's time to do our job or when it's time for somebody to need something, we're together. As the chief says, it's time. After nearly two decades, 19 swearing-ins, and more than 5,000 emergency calls of all types, Bill Askinstead surrendered his white hat. But not before saying thank you. To the members of my own fire company, the charter members who I worked with to build this company back in the 70s, most of them sitting over here, the life members, thank you for all your time, all of your help, and all that you've done to make this organization great. To the 175 members that have come and gone through the doors during my term, I thank each and every one of you. Those of you who are here tonight, 
Those of you who have been and gone, for whatever those reasons have been, I certainly extend my appreciation. To the officers, those that you saw sworn in tonight, and to the many that have gone before you, no chief can do what I have done without the help that you have given. It is the end of an era, but just the beginning of an evening.